What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. This one is a quick look at the Atlas 6x6. How cool does this thing look? Um, I just couldn't resist this one. Just based on looks alone. Y'all know I don't do unboxings, but I had to show you this case. So this is what the truck comes in. You know, it's a hard foam kind of case. And that's where the truck is when you get it. So, super cool little storage for the truck. You can put it in here and haul it with you. Really neat. So, I had to show this case off. You get your instructions, obviously. Some hard springs. little wheel wrench. Phillips screwdriver and a USB charger that I'm never going to use. And it also comes with the two piece transmitter. Like we've kind of gotten used to seeing with some of these um, models, the uh, Enduro 24 has the same type setup. You have your steering trim, um, throttle trim on off you have a reverse channel or i guess to reverse your steering throttle maybe i don't know which one that reverses but um and then a channel three switch so we'll we'll play around with this uh some more later these are pretty cool little design you know breaks apart for uh easy travel so that with the case combined you know you could put this thing back in its case and, and throw it in a suitcase or something if you were trying to travel with it so that's really cool so I had to show that off, but there's the real deal. So this thing just looks super cool in my opinion. I love the, the matte finish on the body. You know, normally you get a Lexan body that's kind of toyish looking with all the gloss and shine on it there. This just looks too good. Curious to see how the paint holds up because I don't know if this is, I guess it's probably got to be painted on the outside to look that way. So we'll see how that does. Um, super nice. One of my favorite things about this truck. The looks to me just kind of really knock it out of the park on this thing. And it's a 6x6. Six six. I've been debating on building a 6x6 six six out of an SCX24 and just figured I wasn't going to have the time. I've got a lot of stuff going on, so this was quicker and easier. Um, you get a couple cool things. You got, you know, clips back here for, like, some shovels and stuff. You could probably clip in there for a more scale look. This little toolbox pops open. Um, so you got storage in there. I've seen people say they maybe put an extra battery or something in there. I'm not going to do that. Um... I love the magnetic body so it just has a magnet right here the battery tray I'm probably gonna slit that to fit bigger batteries um, the SCX 24 battery won't really fit in there right so it just just needs to be notched a little bit and then you have the rubber band things that clip it in um, This front bumper could really go and make this body swivel a little bit better. And I imagine it's probably going to drag on a lot of stuff. I do like how it has the slit in the front for a winch cable. So maybe that's something I'll put on here. Kind of going to keep this truck more of a scale look, I believe. You can see I was playing around with different tire options. I love how these look on it, really, but they're not a performer. These tires are, yeah, they're not very good. Um, I don't know. I guess you could cut them maybe, make them hook up a little better, but probably going to swap them out. Um, I was checking out some new RC4 drive mud slingers on it. They're not going to fit here. They're going to rub. If you haven't seen my 
review video on these definitely go check it out they are the best tire they make if you can fit them you want them they are big they're scrambler size so if you can make them work you want them um so i don't know we're gonna see about tires i may end up stretching this rear just a little bit i don't want to bring it out too far and make it look all goofy but if i brought it back just a little i believe i could fit those tires or at least some scramblers maybe I don't know. We'll see. Um, cool things. I love the headlights and tail lights on this thing. I'll put a little clip in here showing them off. The headlights have that yellowish tint to them, so they look like some old school headlights. You'll see that right here. One thing you might also notice in this clip is the ESC sounds like a uh, early 1990s fax machine. It's super annoying, and it's not very smooth. I'd seen people say it was smooth. It's not. Just take my word for it. It's not half bad on flat ground, but any kind of bind or even this rough rock here, you'll kind of see it struggles a bit. Not the smoothest. So yeah, I really like the look of the headlights and having the tail lights is nice also. So that's a nice touch. Um, one of my concerns with this thing is it, it remind, reminded me a lot of the Enduro 24. You can see. Kind of has the same skid there. Same look on the links. The nice QC pass sticker. Um, at least they did hide this little serial number or whatever this sticker is up in here my enduro 24 it was like right on the front bumper where it just looked like crap um, it does have all phillips head screws and bushings which sucks but one thing i've noticed Enduro 24, I had problems with the drive shaft. You can see I put a metal one on here. Um, put the yoke inside of here, the little ball with the pin sticking out. Um, it's plastic. And so with the flex of the little tabs that stick out and the flex of the drive shaft here, it was always popping apart on me on 2S with any power. I'd get in a bind and it would just pop loose. So I had a lot of trouble with that and my axles on the Enduro 24. So I've not been a big fan of it. On the Atlas, you can see, hopefully, that the yoke, I believe that's what that's called, the little ball inside of there with the pins sticking out is some sort of metal. So that's nice on all of them. So you still have the plastic drive shafts, but you have that metal. So that's not gonna, the problem was with both sides giving a little bit, it's just all, all the time popping apart. I don't feel like the ears on this, they'll, they'll give a little, but since the pins aren't giving at all, I think they'll stay together better. Um, otherwise, it's fairly similar build the E24. The diff covers seem a little smaller, which is good. The main issue with this thing is it this long wheelbase between here and here, this drags on everything. Um, I ran it a little bit on my indoor course. I haven't been outside with it yet. And I'll show you here some of the problems that just kind of struggled with dragging this belly. So you can also tell here by the sound of this ESC whining that I'm giving this thing throttle and it's just not really wanting to pull over these little small rocks. Um, so it kind of like pulls and pulls and pulls and don't go anywhere. And then it just all of a sudden kind of launches over them. Same problem the Enduro 24 had. Um, I don't get, 
I've watched some reviews on this thing. People said the throttle was smooth. Um, I don't know. I guess they haven't drove anything with a smooth throttle, apparently, because it's not smooth. But um, it's not horrible. It's You can deal with it. Um, but it's anything but smooth. Um, and then here you'll just see the belly's just constantly dragging, which this is a really sharp, you know, crest on this little hill here. But I kind of thought, you know, having six wheels pulling, that uh, it would pull over it, but it just wouldn't do it. So you can kind of see it needs all the clearance it can get. So I'm going to try maybe some bigger tires and see what I can do with it. But overall, it's just a super cool scale looking vehicle to me. It's not going to perform like the GOAT. But it don't look the same either. It looks really, really scale and really cool. So um, this is kind of my first thoughts on this thing. Y'all let me know what you think. Um, kind of wouldn't mind seeing them put a little bit more into the, the stacks here. You see they're just kind of plain plastic. Um, they've got these guards on here that are, that are cool looking. But I don't know. Maybe we could paint it up. Touch it up a little bit, make it kind of look old and dingy and ratty. And uh, just make it into something cool looking. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be a huge performer. But you never know. Once you get started with them, a few mods will take you a long way. So, um, this, like I said, just my kind of initial thoughts. Some likes, dislikes. So, y'all let me know what you think. I appreciate everybody watching. Peace.